The time has finally come. My own kilt. Oh. The suspense is yeah, killing me. Indeed. Right, well, the first thing I'd like to say to you is you have it on back to front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know everybody likes the pleats. However, what yeah. we'll have to do with you <laughs> is try and stand still. Yeah. Um, the pleats go to the back camera. Uh -huh. There we go. That's, uh, okay. So, now we've got uh, you around. <laughs> Your shirt's a bit of a mess, but we've got the rest <laughs> of you around. Yeah. Turn around to say, do I have a look? Okay, actually, you've done very well. Uh -huh. If you had had it on the right direction yeah, it would just help, a minor a minor detail <laughs> okay by the way what you wear under your kilt is entirely optional yeah i was going to ask you that i was going to ask entirely you up to yourself there yeah. there is the old myth that you don't wear anything yeah um but in these days it's entirely up to yourself uh -huh. right i had all the advice i needed time now to get back on the open road and see how it all feels so I'm driving a car wearing a kilt, you know, I'm on my way to infiltrate the Highland Games uh, disguised as an Ulster Scot, but I am a bit worried about squashing my pleats, you know, you want to look your best. So the old keys in the old handbag, I mean sparring. Actually, I am going to have to watch the old uh, stance because I am getting a bit girly with the leg going in there. I'm going to have to stand tall like a man all day because there are going to be big, strong men at this thing. And uh, I, I don't want to morph, you know, from an Irish man into an Ulster Scots woman. That would be too much in one morning.